Hello class. Well, I've been informed that you don't have a video for part G, so I'm making you one. Now, let's go to part G. The CEO expressed concern that some of the base case inputs might be too optimistic or too pessimistic. He wants to know how the MPV would be affected if these six variables were all 20% better or 20% worse than the base case. Uh, the unit sales, unit price, or sales price, variable cost, fixed cost, weighted average cost of capital, and equipment cost. Hold other things constant when you consider each variable and construct a sensitivity graph to illustrate your results. So here we go. What you want to do is you're going to set up uh, some charts, some tables just like this, and we'll... Uh, you're going to have a base case, which would be 0%, and then deviation from the base case, okay? Now, if you look at our base case on our sales up here at the beginning of the spreadsheet, uh, sales are 115000 okay? So, uh, you know, you just put, put your base in there, okay? Then what you do is, is you come here and, you, you know, we want this to be 10% less than our base case. So all we have to do is take uh, our base case, which is this B166 in this case, times 1 plus our deviation from the base case, which in this case is, is negative 10%. So this 103,500 is 90% of 115,000. And this is 10% greater than 115,000, 138%. Or 20% greater than 115,000. So that's that. So what the manager wants to know is, okay, what if our sales are 10% less, 20% less, 10% more, 20% more? What if our sales are that? Then how can we uh, come about? You know, what will our NPV then? How will that affect our NPV? In other words, how sensitive is our NPV to the sales unit sales? Okay, so. Then we want to come here and just bring our NPV down from the table above. So that's D73. So, so it's just this, you just bring that down. That's D73, just bring it down. And, uh, and then all you do is a sensitivity analysis, just like we did before. So you would highlight all this and now I'm on uh, Excel for Mac right now, so it's going to look a little different than your uh, your Windows Excel, but it's the same way we did it just this last chapter. You go to Data, and then you go to, if I can remember it, What If, and uh, you'll do a data table, okay? And you'll... you'll uh, substitute uh, you don't have a row input all you have is a column input okay that will be the column input that you substitute for uh, right up here you're gonna sub well let's see you just substitute that column input and then that will change your MPV okay uh, after you do one for each, uh, do, do deviation for your weighted average cost of capital, your variable cost, your sales price, uh, everything you have, uh, then uh, come down and do a sensitivity analysis. Okay. Yeah, here's what you'll do is you'll actually, whenever you, your data will be, um, your column input, you'll, you'll tell it to, in your what if analysis, your data table, your column input, you don't have a row, you just have a column input, you'll have this column input go up to wherever you have your unit sales input here. So it'd be this D24 in this case and you hit OK. 
OK. And it should fill in your, I didn't have a, you got to have it all, all copied in there like that. And it'll fill it all in. And then afterwards, you'll need to bring a, do a, a graph. And all you do is just bring down your uh, variables from above. And you don't have to worry about the range. But just bring down the variables from above and then graph them. And you should have a graph like this. Okay. Uh, then you will need to do a uh, scenario analysis. Uh, do a scenario analysis based on the assumption there's 25% probability that each of the six variables itemized in Part F will turn out to have best case values as calculated in Part F, a 50% probability that all will have their base case values, and 25% uh, probability will all have their worst case values. The other variables remain the same, remain in the base case levels, calculated expected MPV. So our base case is going to be what we what we got at the very beginning. Okay, our best case scenario will be when our sales price is at the best but our costs are at the lowest okay and so so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go up into your uh your best case up here your k your in your key input data and put the very best case in and the very worst case in solve for your mpv and then put that down here in the data. Okay, copy and paste it down here in the data in your scenario analysis. Okay, and do that for the worst case. Worst case scenario will be the best sales price, but it'll be the lowest variable cost. It'll be the lowest unit unit sales, but it'll be it'll be the the highest fixed cost. Okay, weighted average cost will be the highest. Equipment cost will be the highest. <laughs> then you can find your expected MPV by taking your best case MPV multiplied your prob by its probability plus your base case by its probability plus your worst case by its probability. Then solve for standard deviation and coefficient of variation. Uh, don't worry about the probability graph. Or the continuous approximation. All right, good luck. Have fun.